number 3, find the value for each of the given x or y. So when it said that, find the value, so what happened is you have to find in term first. In term of x first, after that you can substitute the given value lah. Because it wanted to find the value of dy over dx. So a, y is equal to 2x plus 5 to the power of 4. So we know here, power of 4 we cannot expand, right? So dy over dx is equal to, so we bring the power forward. So we get 4 here and we get 2x plus 5. After we bring the power forward, the power need to be minus with 1. So this one be 4 minus 1. And then we differentiate what is inside, 2x plus 5. So here we get 4, 2x plus 5. This one is power of 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. When we differentiate 2x plus 5, we know when we differentiate the 1 with only x, we get to take the constant which is 2. And when we differentiate just constant without the x, it will become 0. So you get 8, 2x plus 5 to the power of 3. So this one is dy over dx in term of x. Now we know what is the value of x. So we know the value of x, x is equal to 1. So now when x is equal to 1, now we get to know what is the value of dy over dx. So dy over dx is equal to, when x is equal to 1, it is equal to 8 times 2. So the value of x will be changed to 1 plus 5 power of 3. So 8, 2 plus 5, 7 power of 3. So here we get 8, 2, 4, 3, which is equal to 2, 7, 4, 4. So this one is for A. So for B, is equal to 5 minus 2x. So we have set right? So we have to take out 5 minus 2x power of half. So you cannot expand. So dy over dx is equal to. So the power, you bring it forward, you get half. 5 minus 2x. After you bring it forward, you write this one. And then you minus this one with, uh, half, with 1. So half minus 1. So after you minus 1, then you differentiate what is inside. So d over dx, 5 minus 2x. So here, half 5 minus 2x, half minus 1 is negative half. So d over dx, differentiate. When you differentiate this one, you know. When you differentiate constant, you get 0. And when you differentiate the one with x, you get to take the constant, which is negative 2. So here, half and negative 2 can be multiplied. So half times negative 2, we get negative 1, right? Or you don't have to write 1. So negative, this one would be 5 minus 2x to the power of negative half. So you don't want the power to be negative. So negative 1 divided by 5 minus 2x to the power of half. And you know half, power of half is equal to third. So negative 1, so third, 5 minus 2 x. So we know that dy over dx is equal to negative 1 divided 5 minus 2 x. So we see it's given that x is equal to half. So when x is equal to half, so we can see that dy over dx, so we can directly substitute the x here to get the value. So negative 1 divided by so 5 minus 2 x is equal to half. So you get negative 1, so 5 minus 2 times half, you get 1. So negative 1 over so 4, you get negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2. So c y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 3. So we know that y is equal to 2x minus 3, power of negative 1. Right, because this one is actually power of 1. So we bring it up, it will become power of negative 1. So dy over dx is equal to... So we bring the power forward, we get negative 1. And then we have 2x minus 3. And then we minus the power with 1, negative 1 minus 1. After that, we differentiate what is inside, 2x minus 3. 
So here you get negative 1. So negative 1 actually you don't have to write, right? So negative 2x minus 3, negative 2. And when you differentiate this one, you know when you differentiate 2x, the one with x, you only take the constant and the one without x will become 0. So here you have negative times 2, negative 2, 2x two minus 3, negative 2, which is equal to negative 2 over 2x minus 3 to the power of 2. You see here, this one is negative. When you bring it down, the power becomes positive. So it says that x is equal to y. Y is equal to 1, I'm sorry. So, in this case, dy over dx is in term of x. dy over dx is equal to negative 2 divided by 2x minus 3 power of 2. Here, this one is x. Only when you substitute x here, you can get the value. You cannot directly substitute y. But you see here, you have y. So, when you substitute y here, you can get what is x. So, here y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 3. And you know that y is equal to 1. So, when y is equal to 1, so we can 1 over 2x minus 3. You see here, we can substitute y to get x. So, 2x minus 3. So, you multiply is equal to 1. 2x is equal to, you bring to the right, you get 4. So, x is equal to 4 divided by 2, you get 2. So, you know that when y is equal to 1, x is equal to 2. Now, you can use x is equal to 2 and substitute inside your equation. So, when x is equal to 2, dy over dx is equal to negative 2 divided by 2, 2. You see, I substitute x with 2 minus 3 square. So, here I get negative 2 divided by 4 minus 3 square is 1 square. So, I get negative 2. So here dy over dx is equal to negative 2.